guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm gonna explain my skincare routine for you guys and explain my skin journey to y'all. It's been quite a journey for me. So basically, all my life growing up, I had pretty like decent skin. In middle school, I went through something where I had a lot of acne on my forehead and then my skin cleared up pretty well. It was, I would get like acne like here and there, get a few blemishes, but it wasn't anything like really crazy. And then I started working at Ulta and whenever that happened, I was experimenting with products and stuff like that. And I started with a brand named Clinique. Now, just so you guys know, I have nothing against Clinique. It is a very, very good brand. It just didn't work for my skin. I started by using their Pepstar facial cleanser and I was using that and then I was using their gel lotion, which most of you will probably recognize it. Two different kinds, there's the lotion and then there's the gel. Me, I do have really oily skin, so I was using the gel, but as I started using it, I started noticing I was having more blemishes, but I kept using it because I didn't know that that's what was causing my face to break out. I eventually got to the point to where I had to ask an esthetician for help because I formed cystic acne. Now, that sounds absolutely terrible, and like I said, I have nothing against Clinique. It is a very, very, very good brand. Um, I love a lot of their products, and I know a lot of people that also love their products. It just didn't work for my specific skin. So I stopped using that and I did have really, really bad cystic acne. I can insert pictures over here um, just so you guys can see how severe it got. I eventually ordered Curology. Now, for those of you who don't know what Curology is, it is a brand that, it, it's like an online thing that you order and it's like a treatment for like you specifically. So what you do is you go on their website, which is Curology.com and then you fill out like this little quiz and you take pictures of your skin. You send it to them. They formulate something like a treatment specifically for you. The first bottle is free. I now buy the two month bottles. Whenever I get the two month bottles, I pay, I think, I want to say it's like 40 bucks a month. I really don't remember. But so yeah, this stuff is what saved my life. And I also asked her like what was a good, um, like cleanser to use and what was a good toner like what do I need to do to help my skin because skincare is one thing that I was super super naive about I didn't know much about it makeup on the other hand she told me that they had a website that you could go to it was it's not specifically under Curology but if you go to the Curology website you can find it I'll link it down here I'll have to go and like actually find the website because I don't remember the name of it but basically what you can do on the website is you can enter in the product that you're using. So for example, if I'm using this Peter Thomas Roth um, Hungarian thermal, thermal water, it's a moisturizer. So if I'm using this, I can enter this on the website and it will have all of the ingredients and it will rate them one to five. I believe five being the worst. And then if you see too many of the bads, you know you need to throw away that product. So with all of that being said, my cystic acne is not completely cured, but it is getting a lot better. Um, you guys will see my skin today. Right now, I obviously have makeup on. I've been shopping and stuff like that all day. I do still have a few blemishes, um, and I still do get some just because my skin is still in the process of healing. I still wear makeup almost every day, and it's just my skin isn't where I want it to be, but it is improving like crazy. The first thing that I do is I go in with these Neutrogena makeup wipes. So these are my favorite because they're the only ones that I feel actually take my makeup off the best. You can also go in with a pre-cleanser. Um, Clinique actually has a really good one. This is just a travel size because I don't use it very often, but this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. That is really, really good for breaking down your makeup before you go and try to take it off. I have extremely dark circles. That is because I have low iron. Um, so that's why underneath my eyes are so dark. So sorry about that, but yeah. Next, what I do is I wash my face with my cleanser that I use literally every single day. So this is what I use. This is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. It is for normal to oily skin. So this one, it has foaming action, which gently refreshes and cleanses. It's not common to comedogenic I can't say that word but that basically just means that it won't like clog your pores and it won't like 
great description, Sky. It is fragrance-free, which is really, really good, especially for sensitive skin. And it has, I don't know how to say this, but it helps calm the skin. It's niacinamide. Neosinamide, I think that's how you say it, but that just helps to calm the skin which is really really good for what for like my cystic acne because It does get super inflamed and red and then it just gets really irritated. So this will help to calm that This is the face wash that Miss Berna Moore, my lady from Curology, this is what she recommended for me the majority of the time um, I will go in with this this is not a Clarisonic, but it is pretty much the same thing. This is the Michael Todd. It's called Sonoclear Elite. You can get a Clarisonic one. Um, Clarisonic actually has a wider range of brush heads. I've seen a lot of people using a Vanity Planet one. Like if I've worn makeup that day and I'm washing my face after, for example, right now, I will use it because it's a little bit of a deeper clean. But if I'm just washing my face at the end of the day and I haven't worn makeup all day, like I've just been, you know, running errands or something like that, then I will just wash my hands with my face. Wash my hands with my face. Because I don't want to irritate my skin. So yes, now I'm just going to wash my face with my cleanser and my brush. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now I'm done with washing my face. Next, what I do is... What do I do next? What do I do? Wash my face. Oh, next. Okay, so there's a few different options. I kind of rotate these a lot. Like, there's no special order to it. It's just whatever I'm feeling that day. So, next is, like, my toner or, like, my exfoliator. Like, that sort of vibe. So, I really like these. These are the Facial Radiance Pads by First Aid Beauty. I try to do them, like, like twice a week ish sometimes once a week sometimes three times a week it kind of just depends but i usually try to stick around two times a week this is it exfoliates it brightens and tones your skin since it helps to brighten it helps um my acne scarring because surprisingly you guys a lot of this on my skin just so you guys can see it without makeup i know it looks it actually looks really like bad on camera it's not that bad in person but a lot of this is scarring. This pad, I also really like using it, especially on days that I wear makeup because it helps to get the rest of my makeup off that didn't come off whenever I was cleaning my face. So like, as you guys can see, there's still makeup and stuff on here. It's disgusting. Another option that I do use quite a bit is a, clearing, a clarifying lotion. It's not really a lotion, it's an exfoliate, it's like a toner. Um, so it says twice a day exfoliator. This is number three, which just means that it's for oily skin. There's like one, two, three. I don't think there's a four. I think it's just one, two, three. And it's like for dry skin, normal skin, and then combination oily skin. So this is really good. I usually just put this on like a cotton pad and then I'll go in with it just how I did the exfoliating wipe. So it's pretty much the same thing. The other thing that I really, really like to use, which is pretty much empty and I need to go buy more, is this. Most of you probably recognize this. This is the Witch Hazel by Thyers. I originally bought a Witch Hazel from the dollar store and I was using that and I noticed my blemishes were like drying up really, really bad. And I was like, I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing, but it was like getting flaky. And then whenever I wore makeup, it was just not good. And I figured out it's because it had like 10% alcohol in it. Witch Hazel is really, really good for the acne scarring and stuff like that. It helps to lighten it and helps to make every, your whole skin tone like even. So after I use the First Aid Beauty Radiance Pads, I then go in with any serums or treatments that I have. I usually use my Curology every night. Sometimes I will skip a night if my skin is looking pretty good and I'll go in with serums to help treat my acne scarring rather than my acne so right now i don't have very many blemishes um but i still do like to go in at least on my cheeks with my curology after that i'm not going to use this today although i do use this quite often this is the pericone md vitamin c ester it's a brightening amine facelift it's a serum that has vitamin c in it that's pretty much all you need to know this, I love this stuff because it, it it has vitamin C, which for those of you who don't know, vitamin C is the BLT of the C, of the vitamins. 
So it brightens, it lightens, and it tightens. That's what vitamin C does. So vitamin C is in a lot of skincare because those are the three things that people look for the most. So I'm not gonna go in with that today, but I do like to use it every so often to help with my acne scarring. I go in with my eye cream next. And the reason why I go in with my eye cream first before my moisturizer is because at night I usually use like a heavier moisturizer and then my eye cream is more of a jelly like serum-y type which also for those of you who don't know you're supposed to go in with your thinnest to your thickest so you always put on like your serums your toners and all that stuff first and then you go in with your cream next what i do is i go in with my eye cream it is the peter thomas roth and it's like the vitamin c serum eye cream now what i go in with is my moisturizer so i do have two different ones that i like to use this is the moisturizer that i go in with at night the reason why is because it is a heavy moisturizer this is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream this is for intense hydration this isn't specifically for your face although it is good for sensitive skin so you can use it on your face there are i believe three different kinds that i know of at least there's the original there's the honeysuckle and then there's another one it's like red i think it's like pomegranate or something like that yeah there's like no added fragrance to it and i only use this one at night i'm going to show you guys the one that i use during the day this is good for intense hydration so if i wear this throughout the day i will get way too oily you literally look like you can fry an egg on my forehead during the day I like to use the Peter Thomas Roth one that I showed you guys earlier, the Hungarian Thermal Water. This one is more of a gel consistency. It's not as like a, as heavy as a cream. So this one is good for oily skin and it's good to wear underneath makeup. It's good for just like throughout the day. I think that pretty much concludes my skincare routine. My skin is still not where I want it to be. Obviously everyone wants perfectly clear skin but I'm not quite there yet, although I have made a huge improvement. It looks like pretty decent in person. Like I feel way more confident going out in public now than I did like two, three months ago. So yeah, that's what I do pretty much on a daily basis. So I did wanna share with you guys um, information about steaming your face. So I just recently discovered this like literally maybe like two weeks ago and I've steamed my face I think twice. Yeah, cause I did it once a week. So you're supposed to steam your face once to twice a week for about 10 minutes at a time. So what it does for you is it helps pull everything out of your skin and it like basically forces you to sweat and then it's gonna bring everything out of your skin. Me, whenever I work out, I sweat, but I rarely sweat on my face regardless of how much I work out, how hard I work out, you know, like anything. Like it, it, it's honestly really hard for me to sweat on my face. I have no idea why. So that helps to push everything out of my skin. It helps to clear, or to clear your skin. It's really good for acne prone skin and it helps to hydrate your skin. So it's good for all skin types because usually if you have oily skin, it's because your skin is dehydrated, which is why I started using that heavy cream at night. But steaming my face has helped me tremendously. Now, Another tip for you guys, do not go buy a face steamer. There's no point in spending $30, $40, $50 on a face steamer when you have a pot in your kitchen and water in your sink. Is get a little pot of water, like probably about that big, fill it up with water, start boiling it. As soon as it comes to a boil, take it off the heat. You can get a towel, put it over your head, and then just look straight into the pot. So you're basically forming a tent with your head <laughs> on top of the pot of water that's boiling and the steam will come up and you sit there for about 10 minutes you're gonna feel your face like dripping with sweat which is good that's what you want because that's what's gonna clear your skin out but anyways that's pretty much it for my skincare routine and if you have any more tips on skincare or cystic acne please let me know because it's I, I'm still struggling with it, although it's a lot better, and now it's less cystic and more just blemishes. Okay, so I just finished recording, but I wanted to tell you guys about a spot treatment that's good for cystic acne, or really any acne, but it's like specifically for cystic acne. So what you can do is you can actually go to like CVS or Walmart or Walgreens or anything like that, and you can get like blister band-aids. They have ointment on them which help heal. It also has like a, like around the band, like if this is the band-aid, 
around it is like super super sealed tight to where no nothing is gonna get inside so with those all you do is you put it over your blemish you go to sleep you wake up and then you take it off and it what it does is it draws everything out of the blemish which is good for cystic acne because for those of you who have it or know about it if you try to pop it with your fingers it spreads and make it worse makes it worse which why would you want that so instead of squeezing it messing with it poking it all that nasty stuff you can just put the band-aid over it go to sleep wake up and it's gonna help like it's a, it's a spot treatment for your acne so yeah i just wanted to throw that in there because that also helped me a lot whenever i had big blemishes but anyways i will see you guys next week thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment any other tips that you guys have and yeah i'll see you guys next week bye